Saddleback leather, large, classic briefcase. Another one of them in tobacco brown. This one is my brother's. He just barely got it. Used off of the Facebook group. I guess everyone knows what that means. Um, so we're going to look at it. Okay. This one's mine. There's going to be an update on that coming later. Okay. So, one thing that I noticed is this thing looks a little bit scruffy right there. I don't know what that's all about. Um, but it's a large and it has the suede lining that's different from mine. Ooh, let's show the difference. Uh, mine is, I think, just a little bit older, but my brother's is not too new because if it was newer, then this would be the more square buckle and they're mm -hmm. both rounded like on mine. Okay, let's look at the insides. Okay, so mine has the pig skin that's like, like sticky skin type feeling. And his is the, the cool scruffy suede kind. And maybe I just like it better because it's what I don't have. That legit might be the case. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna take this out, is that okay? Uh, that, this is a 17.3 inch laptop and it fits in there fine. Um, and the charger, I'm just like, oh, do you take that out? Can you want both on there? Just how it came. Uh, and what else we got? And the mouse and the pen and the paper, which probably has information we can't show on the camera on it. Um, but let's look at it. So the idea is just to kind of get a quick look at this bag just to see like uh, how worn it is so we can do updates later. Oh, this looks so good. Yeah, it's really clean. There's no stains or anything inside, so that's awesome. I guess the previous owner took it hunting or something. I don't know. Um, but one thing that's different is that mine on the back, mine's the color started coming off. And so they resealed it, is what they call it. And so mine has like a shinier look on the back. Some of that's from just carrying it, but some of it's from them resealing it. And so on his, has the nice dark brown, but not the weird shine on it. So that's nice. <laughs> let's go to the bottom. Is that funny, bud? Oh, let's look at the bottom. Oh, these are so nice. Awesome. So yeah, just wanted to give a brief... Look at this one, my brother's bag that he got, so we can be match sees. See all the different angles, we can watch how it changes over time. See the handle isn't as, ugh, as dark as my handle from usage. And I'm about to show this side, Did I show this side already? Front. Let's look at this trap. Um, this one has some cool scars on it. It has one, uh, I forgot where they all are. There's one here. Is that a scar? Yep, that's a scar there. Let's see if we can focus I on it. I see a scar. It's just right there, bud. It's from the cow. Oh, that's Because this is made from a cow. So if the cow bumped into barbed wire, then it has a little scratch on its skin and it's oh, like yeah, this. Yeah. So when they turn the cow into a bag, the bag has a scar. Hmm. So there's a scar there, and there's a good one there, and there's one there too. Nope, out of frame. Right there. So. Anyway. Oh, there's some good ones on the bottom, too. Nice. That scar. Uh, so, yeah, this is my brother's bag uh, of... We don't know how old it is. <laughs> uh, but this is day one of its existence with him that he's probably going to use it every single day. So, it'll be fun to watch how it wears. Uh, and his is slightly different than mine because, just going over it again... His has the nice suede pigskin with the wrapped bar, and then mine is the sticky pig... I mean, it's not sticky in a bad way, but like more like a skin feel that you can see the hair follicles from the pig. And then the bar, the little aluminum bar, is just stuck underneath there. So I guess on this one, if you wanted to like stick something in there, you could. I don't know what in the world you'd put in there, but you could. So anyway, there you go. There's a brief overview of that one. Um, compared to mine, which is now over four years old and used every single day. 
So we'll do more on that one later. Okay, thanks, bye. Okay, so we just conditioned my brother's bag with this. We just did a really fast over, like really quick wipe down of the formula number one Chamberlain's with this thing. That thing's done a lot of conditioning, so that's not like from one. Uh, we did not use, we didn't use this, the healing balm, because it, there was really nothing on this bag that needed it. But if you remember how it looked before, it got conditioned. Here's how it looks after. And then that's my bag. More, stay tuned on that one. Uh, okay, so yeah, here's how it looks conditioned. Let's look down here. Oh, I don't want to tip it over with the computer inside. There we go. So yeah, you can just see that it kind of wiped away all the scratches. And that's the car I'm going on. Keep the plane in the car. Okay. So yeah, got rid of the scratches. Looks really good. Chamberlain's Leather Milk number one. So, yeah, and then stay tuned for more on my bag later. Um, thanks for watching.